The words of Psalm 42 are familiar to us because they were a popular song. As the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. I became a Christian at 15. Deciding to follow Jesus was the culmination of a whole lot of questions and uncertainties. What is truth? Is God real? What is the purpose of life? How do I deal with my guilt? Where will I go when I die? And what if God wants to punish me? All very uncomfortable questions with a range of uncomfortable uh, emotions to match. I know it wasn't, I wasn't the only one with those feelings. Uh, in 400 AD, Augustine said, You have made us for yourself, and our hearts are restless until they find rest in you. In 1660, Blaise Pascal said, There is a God-shaped hole in each of us. He went on to explain, he said, What else does this craving and this helplessness proclaim, but that there was once in man a true happiness, of which all that now remains is the empty print and trace. Uh, this he tries in vain to fill with everything around him, seeking in things that are not, uh, seeking things that are not there, uh, that cannot help him. Uh, my com my conversion was now about eighty four, uh, sorry, forty eight years ago. Hey, um, it's a long time ago, and it's a long time since I felt that discomfort of searching and uh, and uh, those hard questions. Christ has saved me. He answered my questions. He brought me peace. Uh, and he filled uh, my empty heart. And I suspect that many of you are in exactly the same position. You, you had disturbing questions, but uh, those disturbing uh, questions are now a distant memory. And that feeling of disturbance is long gone. Today, the psalmist reminds us what it's like to be hungry and thirsty to know God. He wants to know God intimately. Uh, and like Jeremiah said, you will, you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. We're called to seek after the Lord. The Apostle Paul expressed a similar idea. He said in Philippians 3.10, I want to know Christ and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of sharing in his sufferings, becoming like him in his death, and so somehow to attain the resurrection from the dead. See, here is the most graphic image of, of his thirst for God, uh, Psalm 42 verse 1, As the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When can I go and meet with God? We're, we're given the picture of an animal that is parched in the wilderness, craving for water, literally on his last legs because of dehydration. And the psalmer compares his spiritual thirst to the physical thirst of the deer. At the time he wrote this psalm, David himself was uh, most likely in the desert uh, trying to escape capture from his enemy. And he experienced that extreme dryness of the desert. The plants were stunted because of a lack of moisture. The parched land, he realised, is much like his own dry soul that thirsts to be refreshed by God himself. Hiding from his enemies in the barren desert, David longed for a friend he could trust. No wonder he cried out, my soul thirsts for God. If you're lonely or thirsty for something, remember God alone can satisfy our deepest longings. In his desperation, David uh, looked to the Lord and reaffirmed his faith in God. In verse 5 and 6 he says, Why are you downcast, O my soul? Why do so disturbed within thee? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Saviour and my God. Yes, assurance of God's love is life-changing. So how are you doing? How do you respond when you recognise the dryness of your soul? Are you earnestly seeking or, or are you sitting back passively waiting? Let me encourage you to seek after God and, and to know that confidence that we can put our hope in God and we will yet praise Him. Bye for now.